Good day, YouTube, and welcome back to another Kamen Rider review. Today I have got the uh, candy toy Robin icon, Robin Hood icon, and the DX Condor phone. Both of them belonging to the uh, Robin. Well, duh. <laughs> but anyway, let's take a look at the icon first. Now, it is the candy toy version, so it didn't, it's not the stickers in the icon aren't as st aren't glittery like in the DX versions. The kachunk, this pushing thing, is a lot more, you can hear it more kudlunky. And just in general, the it's a lot, it's kind of different. I don't have the DX version of the Robin Hood icon to compare it to. But uh, as you can maybe tell, Mine is a little bit off center there for the iris, for the not for the three. The Robin Hood faceplate is slightly to the right, and that bothers me. And then the Omega Drive is slightly to the right, so it's all kind of wonky. And I've, yeah, so uh, mild. It all depends on luck of the draw, really, I guess. So why don't we just put the Condor phone off to the side and have a look at what this does in the ghost driver. So we'll just turn it on. It is already on, so we'll turn it off and turn it on again. Ghost driver. Oh, you're dirty in there. Open her up. Plug her in. And I just henchin. And I believe it is saying arrow, bow and arrow, something, something. I'll have, I'll put uh, tran what I can find for translations in like a little thing here. You'll see it pop up on screen. And yeah, I love the medieval chant that you hear. It's fantastic. It's really fitting for Robin Hood. We'll just blink once. To do Omega Drive. And then we'll blink four times for the optical orb attack. That's about it for the icon. Thank you, Ghost Driver. Thank you. Now, on to the main event, the Condor Phone, and it will later be used in junction with the Gun Gun Saber. But first, the phone. You can see it's a nice black plastic with green and silver paint apps. Although I think, oh, this might be black. You got some lovely Bandai silver there for the, I forget what that's called. I don't know, I've never used an old phone. I'm young, I guess. <laughs> On the speaker there, you've got the lovely, more lovely silver as well as there. Up there on the mouthpiece, that's actually the mouthpiece, that's the earpiece, believe it or not. I used to think it was the other way around, you'd flip that up and speak into that, but no, that's the other way. It makes sense. Yes, hello, hello. You couldn't see that, but I lifted it up to my ear because jokes. This can turn, but if you want to emulate the old style of phone, you have to turn it back yourself. So you just one and whoop, two. And it's nice and clicky clacky too. I love the clicky clacky. And I love the metallic green. It's nice and metallic-y, I guess. I'll take a quick look at the condor head before we put it into condor mode. You've got the beak there holding the speaker, the mouthpiece. Lovely green paint with some wiring detail. you got the red eye. It's nice and shiny. Same on the other side. Green detail, shiny red eye. 
it's all good. Now, if you want to, this thing can transform into a condor, that's why it's called condor throne. So you just flip it over, spread out the wings, flip the breast out, and then plug in the neck, turn it around, and raise the camera up, because he gets tall. He's a tall boy. There's my finger there. And in this mode, he doesn't do a lot. He's a condor. He can bend his neck. That's probably the best way to just, to view him. You can imitate that he's flying. Nah. I don't know what noise a condor makes. <laughs> I'm going to assume a bird noise. But yeah, the real interactivity comes from with the gun gun saber. So what you want to do to get that ready is pull that off, have it facing this way. Now there's some pegs and peg holes in there. You want to take these pegs and just plug it in like so that this is facing this way. Is that right? Yes, it is. You just plug it in, turn the head to make shift to make it look like an arrow. Take the gun gun saber. Turn it on. Not do that. And there is these little tracks. You can't see that. There's these little tracks right there that you're going to slide and it's going to push that little button there, if you can see it, is going to push one of those tabs in. Shush. And you just slide it in. Slide it in. Activate can confirmation noise that you've connected it and then you're ready to go with the bow mode. So you just push the button and you get a nice arrow fire and what sounds like an eagle. I'm not sure. And what you can also do is you take the ghost driver like with any others and just bring it in to activate the final attack. Omega Strike. And we'll just do it one more time because I was talking over that. Trigger! You may not have heard it, you may have, but you could hear the a phone ringing and then the eagle condor sound and then the fire and the explosions to represent the final attack. It's all good. And now if you want to separate it, you just put, come back here, pull, no, you come around here and pull this lever, this lever here and slide it off. Okay, you're done. Oh, if you want to disconnect the neck from there, you just push that lever and then pull that off. And yeah, it's a neat little toy. It is, again, with these things, they're really only worth it if you are uh, following the show and you like the look of them and you want to get them. I got mine from... This I got from another eBay. I got off eBay, not Matter Collectibles. I got this from Matter... I'll leave a link to his page below. He sells most of these things and a lot of the Gashapon icons and candy toy versions of them. So if you can't find the D, if you want to get them but you can't find the DX for cheap, these are a good alternative. He sells them for like six dollars fifty plus shipping, so it's fairly cheap. <sighs> and yeah, this is this has been a good. This is good. <laughs> This has been my review of both the Robin Hood icon and the Condor phone. Thank you all for watching and have a good day.